Mm. Up and coming producers, I always just tell them, stick to your craft. You know what I'm saying? The music, if you hot, if it's hot, it's going to get played. It's going to show. You can't hide good music. You know what I'm saying? You can't bury the good music because it's going to get played. Get a great team. Get a great manager. Get a good entertainment lawyer. You know what I'm saying? You got to make your team relevant. You know what I'm saying? Because what we learned in the past, you can't be the manager, the lawyer and everything, and also come and try to sit and create the records because that's the part that's going to frustrate you. You know what I mean? Because you sitting here worrying about the check getting cut over here, but also just sitting here trying to figure out how you're going to put this bass line, you know what I'm saying, on these kids. All that stuff frustrates you, you know what I'm saying? But you just got to stick to your craft. You know, so people get frustrated with the music. That's just a part of life, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be bumpy roads anyway in life. I just say just as far as like on the songwriting part, challenge yourself, take constructive criticism, and sometimes don't be afraid to write three songs to a track. You know, and, and sometimes you just and don't be afraid to get an opinion from other people because that's that's one thing I like about me is that I grew out of the stage where I think oh my this when I do something is hot you know because you you know I got people like them I really you know love their honest opinion like I could play something bless will come in and I'd be like what you think bless bless will make a U turn. He'll go right out the room, and then you know, and that let me know, and ain't no man. But he don't like what I just did. You know, I'll try something else, but it's vice versa. Bless might be like, yo, of course, what you think about this beat? I'll be like, well, if you take that instrument out, that instrument, then I probably can figure out how to write to it. Exactly. And the same thing with Kay. Kay tell you like honest opinions because at the end of the day, we trying to generate revenue and make history. So if he lied to me, how am we gonna make history? You better yourself. You know. I yeah. want somebody to say, you know what, that right there ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Yeah. And it, it make you better, see, Susan. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. when you don't got people around you that, that's going to tell you that ain't it, that's how you get them songs on the radio. Mm -hmm. And then you don't hear nothing from the artists no more because they got all them people around them say, oh, that's the joint right there. And then as soon as they leave, they be like, man, that joint going to break. <laughs> <laughs> and then they throw that thing out there and their career just be shot. Cause you gotta have true grounded people around you. They ain't gonna lie to you when it when it's when it's about your craft. Timeless music, as we as we talked earlier. You know, you don't got them records that spin in nowadays. You don't have them records that had that seven eight years lifespan that you could somebody play. You like, oh, that was my shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't got that no more. It's like you hear it on the radio for a good month or two, mm -hmm. then it's, you don't hear it no more. Yeah, because like, I I, I guarantee you. When you hear Let's Wait a While from Janet Jackson, when you heard it then, you still get the same emotion from the record. When you hear them boom, 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 you still get that same feeling. And, and, and then that's one, what you want your music to do. One of the things like. I want to say for the for the young producers out there, one of the thing, thing they got to realize is that you got to realize the difference between being a producer and a beat maker. Just because you can make a beat that yeah. sounds good, that might knock, might get your mother to tell you to turn the shit down, like, that's not being a producer. You got you to gotta make joints that... And if you have, I guess, a writer like a Corte or somebody else, you have to, you have to know how to create and make a song, structure, arrangement, and everything else. You know, learn how to arrange your music. Cause sometimes you might play your music for somebody, and you got the the bridge on the intro and the intro on the bridge. Like you gotta mm -hmm. know how to just arrange your stuff and and become an arranger at the same time when you you know when you you're working on this stuff or whatever and 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 tweak your music and, and learn how to mix and do all this you know all those different things because nowadays with all the computers and everything else these people they know how to mix their records and do everything else you got to kind of be self-contained that you know all the stuff but it's good to have a a team of, of different people but you gotta ha you got to in order to survive in this game yeah, that's what they used to stay say. on top of your, your used stuff to say about puff oh puff ain't the one that sit there and he don't Man, do the beat he don't do that you know, God, so he's a producer, you know what I'm saying? He go in there and tell you, look, that goes right here, put this right here, arrange this this way. So he turns your all right record to a hit record, mm. you know what I'm saying? So that's also being a producer as well. Yeah. He definitely got his ears incredible. When we was mixing the Donnie record, well, he actually had set up a mix. We had did like a rough mix like a few days before. Mm. He fell in love with it. They went out to the club, played it, loved it. Mm. The engineer was in the actual studio mixing the record. Puff walks in. He goes, nah, nah, play that thing that, that we had from the other night. Mm -hmm. And then he was doing A-B. He said, see, this right here, see, this the magic. We're going we to kill ourselves trying to find this magic. Matter of fact, don't even mix it. Leave it like this. Yep. Uh. Ran with the two-track.
Mm. Just added a few different things, but leave it just yeah. like this. Mm. Like that take a genius, because he actually could hear that it didn't make him feel the same way. Huh. And you know, so when people say Puff not producer, because he's not, mm. nah, he's a man's a producer. I, I respect people, his I tell head. people all the time with the music, people so focused on paying attention to, to the tweaks in the mix. It's like, yo, you don't got to pay attention to nothing. Yo, you just got to feel it. Mm -hmm. Feel the music. Don't pay attention to it. Russell Simmons said a long time ago when he put out Suck MCs, when uh, when when all the bass lines was in that boom, 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 he said he bought them Suck MCs with no drums. Mm -hmm. with, I mean, we just were all drums and no bass line. He was like, nah, where the bass line this record? He was like, nah, you got to feel this record. They don't need no bass line. He was like, they was like, nah, nah, nah. He said he put Suck MCs out of stuff Num and it went number one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Prove them wrong. It's like, mm -hmm. stop focusing on the wrong stuff and just feel the record. 